Hey YouTube, it's Marita and welcome to another edition of the Nurse Lounge. In this edition, we're going to talk about why am I not passing nursing school? If you want to see what I'm talking about, stay tuned. Welcome back. My name is Dr. Marita P. I'm a registered nurse, been a nurse for 17 years. OBGYN, Well Baby Nursery, is my specialty. I am a nurse educator at HBCU and I'm doctoral prepared. And today we're going to talk about why am I not passing or why is it possible you're not passing nursing school? Let's dive into that topic right now. Let's dissect it. First and foremost, you are going to school, you're going every day, you're excited about the program, you get accepted into the program, you start day one, and you get in there and you are overwhelmed. You're overwhelmed, people seem like they're disorganized, nothing is together, you don't have your textbooks on time, whatever your story happens to be, you are, this is not what you thought. You had an image in your mind, a vision of what it would be like, and then you get there, and you're like, okay, I'm sadly mistaken. Then after all that happens, you are in class for the first, let's say three or four weeks and you have your first exam. And oh my gosh, where do they get these questions from? Where, where do they get these questions from? I have never ever seen questions that look like these before. And then you take your test, you study for your test and you get the results and you get a 70. Which, by the way, is actually pretty good for your first exam in nursing school. But wait a minute. I'm an A student. I had nothing but A's and B's in my prereqs. Does that story sound familiar? Because I hear that story time and time again with my students. When they have those same comments and concerns and like, okay, what's going on? Why am I not passing this program? And so when they come to my office and we have to discuss, you know, why their grades are the way they are, why they're not doing so well in nursing school, we have to discuss what we need to do about it. Should I drop the class? Should I drop the program? What should I do? Should I change majors? What should I do? If this is you and this is your story, then you need to listen to this video. First and foremost, I want you to examine your why. What does that mean? Examine your why. Why did you come to nursing school for the first in the first place? Do you truly have a passion, a care, a love for helping people? Is nursing really the avenue that you need to take it to do? Because you can care for other people in different ways. You could be a cosmetologist and care and love and take care of alopecia patients and or cancer patients who, you know, maybe you're making wigs and things like that. There's different ways to care for people. So what is your why for nursing? What is your why? You could be a social worker and care for people, a counselor and care for people, therapist, psychiatrist, give medications. You could be a physician even. You could be a lawyer and care for people and help people who need help uh, representing their cases. Things like that. So what is your why for nursing is the question. And if the money is the first thing that came to mind when you said what your why is, this is not the profession for you. It's just not. Money should never be the driving factor of any job that you do. Never. You should have a passion before it, uh, for it beyond the money and just realize that, you know what, it's great to do something that I love to do and get paid for it. That's wonderful. So what is your why? What is your why? First, figure out what your why is. Write that down. What is my why? And then next, I want you to figure out, okay, so what am I doing? When it comes to nursing school, you have to sacrifice something. And I think that's the biggest thing my students didn't realize. Something will have to be sacrificed. What will you sacrifice? What are you willing to sacrifice? Are you able to give up your some of your friends? Not give them up, but are you able to make them not a priority, shall I say? How are you able to prioritize now? Are you able to not prioritize your family, friends, social media? 
are you able to not prioritize even work? Because some people have to work, but sometimes nursing school is a priority over work. And if you're in a situation where work is a priority over nursing school, because nursing school will never work around your work schedule, never. They will never say, okay, well, what's your work schedule? We'll work around it. So therefore, nursing school will always trump work. What are you willing to sacrifice or what can you sacrifice to do this program? If you cannot make any sacrifices, if you don't know your why, if you are only about the money, nursing is not for you. And really school may not be for you. So once you've, once you've dissected all of that, okay, once all that's been dissected, you, you know your why, I still want to be here. You realize I'm going to have to make some sacrifices and you're doing that and you're okay with that. It's only temporary. That may, that may mean less partying, less going out, being with friends, family. It may mean, you know, cutting back on your work hours or working only weekends, whatever it happens to be. It may mean more studying. It may mean more, you know, group sessions. It may mean more help in, on, with your instructor, help. It may mean all kinds of things. So you do all that. You made a 70 on that first test, which I always say a 70 on the first test is actually pretty good because a 70 in nursing school is kind of like having an A in your general education classes. So now what? You know, and 70 is not passing in, in, in most programs, maybe some, but 70 is not passing in most nursing programs. If you got a 70 on a test, it's not passing, but that actually is pretty good for your first nursing exam. So with that being said, okay, you've taken your second exam, you use the exact same strategies, then you have like a 72 on that one. So you're still not passing the class. So why am I not passing? So if you are not resilient, if you don't have the grit, if you are someone who makes excuses, you can't make excuses in nursing school. Well, I didn't No. Are you organized? Did you get your syllabus and you read your syllabus and you wrote down in your calendar when what was due? Do you procrastinate? If you do, that's why you're not successful. One of the reasons why you're not passing, you procrastinate. Are you studying every single day, seven days a week, five to seven days a week? Are you doing those things? Are you reading your material before you go to class? And then taking notes, and then when you go to class, you ask questions and such. Are you doing that? So those are some reasons as to why you may not be successful in nursing school. Why am I not passing? Because of some of those reasons. So what you need to do is really have a sit down, have a heart to heart with yourself and say, you know, is this something that I really want to do? Is nursing something I really want to do? And when the answer, if the answer is still yes and all those things, then this is where the how do I study comes along. Um, that's where that comes along. And that's going to be a, a part two of this video. So why am I not successful? Why am I not passing? It's because of all those reasons as to why you're not. You're not studying adequately. You're not sacrificing anything. You don't know your why. You're here for the wrong reasons. Sometimes you're here because other people want you to be here. What is your why? Are you here for the right reasons? And if you are and you're still having difficulty passing classes, then part two of this video, which is going to be my updated study, um, updated how do I study for nursing school video, will help you with figuring all that out. So I'm going to end this video here because there is a part two to this. And I want you to definitely watch that video as well. But what I want to say is, please know your why. Money cannot be the driving factor as to why you want to become a nurse. It can't be. Because though you will do okay, depending on where you work, you will have some very bad days in nursing that's not going to be worth the money that you make. You can make six figures and it won't be worth it because you also won't be happy. It won't matter. You have to love what you do as a nurse. You have to love the good days, the bad days, when people are spitting on you, cursing you out, trying to trying to fight you. The art, the the nurses are fighting with you, the physicians are fighting with you, management's fighting with you, um, and then you come home to some more, you know, some more mess at home where your family's fighting with you. You have to love it for the right reasons. All right. So, questions, comments, concerns, put that in the comment section below. Subscribe, like, follow me on IG, follow me on TikTok. Also, go ahead and watch part two. 
Until the next time, you all take care. Bye-bye.